this is cuts from uh, the track lead of uh, tracks three. So uh, here is a new. This is the afternoon session. A uh, new email builder from Alex and Joey. I just gonna hand it over to you. Can you share the screen? Uh, yes, of course. Little moment. I will just. I just have to find the right one. Yeah. So. Oh, I got it. Here we go. Do you all have right. It? Yep. Perfect. So it's all yours. Okay. Nice. Thank you very much. Um, yeah. Like. Uh, yeah. I. I would just uh, make a few words to myself and to this um, initiative. So, um, we are talking about the one builder to rule them all, which can be very interesting. I'm Alex Hammerschmidt. I'm the founder of Hardwood IO, which is a Mautic hosting SaaS business. And um, I uh, happened to meet a few other guys together with Joey and uh, a few other people. And we had this idea of um, bringing some like bringing some structure into the creation of the new email builder or the new landing page builder and what we have at the moment. And it's um, a lot, especially if you start in this community, it can be intimidating because there is a lot out there. So we have this presentation for you to um, get to know the topic and to get started to create um, the best user experience and user interface in the marketing automation world um, from today. So let's dive in. Um, let's start here. My personal experience with Mautic. So I started as an agency um, to sell Mautic to our clients, to um, like a little bit bigger clients, not like not people who just start sending newsletters. And um, yeah, it's like you see Mautic the first time and you totally fall in love with, and it's so uh, amazing what you can do with it. And the tool seems to be one of the best um, things which happened to you in the whole year. So it's everybody is pumped at the beginning when they start seeing what Mautic is capable of and what you can do with it. And uh, so we started to sell it to our clients we built everything for them, like landing pages, pop-up forms, um, of course, nice emails, and so on. And then after uh, finishing the project from our side, the clients rang a few months later or a few days later. Yeah, I just want to change this or this thing, and I want to do it for myself because it can't be so um, difficult. So just show me how. And this is where it, where the struggle begins, actually. And yeah, welcome to Mautic. So Mautic is an amazing tool, but we have one problem. And I would call it that Mautic is actually for developers. Or um, if you will, Mautic is built for people who are deep inside um, online business who are deep inside online processes. And yeah, like as soon as somebody comes to you and says, okay, I don't really have a clue of uh, like front end development. I don't know CSS. I don't know HTML. I don't know JavaScript. It can be a real struggle. So, and that's what for most of my clients, at least, uh, Mautic seems to be after um, a few weeks uh, of work. So we try to give them as much um, support as possible and have a YouTube channel and so on to support them, to help helping themselves. But um, uh, the problem lies within Mautic, I would say, because um, most Mautic users are marketers and not front-end developers. And surely no IT developers. So um, I think the struggle of the customers is because they can't really 
create what they want to create, what they have in mind, because it's difficult. And it's, I would say it's 2016. <laughs> it doesn't sound so much, but 2016, four years in this um, universe means like a change, a technical change between day and night. So uh, what people see today is like really amazing user experiences and really amazing user interfaces, super easy to grasp, super easy to use. And we would like to build exactly this for um, all of the Maltic users, for the Maltic community and with the Maltic community together. So let's um, get this started. So many people are paying for builders, like there are plugins in the, in the space at the moment where people are um, need to pay for the API or something, and then they get um, an easy to use drag and drop page builder and get the Maltic, get the code back to Maltic. So this is one approach, and so on. Then there are a few people who build um, their own thing or cook their own soup, but um, it's complicated at the moment, and we want to make it from complicated and move it to easy. So making the easiest user experience for building great emails, pages, forms, and pop-ups. So over the whole uh, Maltic uh, system. So the question, how many programming languages do you need to know to communicate with the rest of the world? And yeah, if you're um, used to Maltic, if you are used to serve your customers best and solve their problems and so on, then you know that you at least would need like front-end languages like HTML, CSS, JavaScript. Better would be to even know a little bit of PHP, at least a little bit. And of course, you need to, ne you need to know Linux uh, because you have to run your server and then it would be good to know a little bit how Composer is working, and so on and so forth. So it gets uh, huge. And if I tell one of my clients, hey, you just need to SSH into your machine and clear the cache there, it's super easy with this line of code. They just want to get out somehow. So the answer should be you need none. So a good um, user experience, in my opinion, and I come from the WordPress uh, world, so um, the answer would be you need none. Um, if you know it, it's amazing. You can do even more amazing stuff. But uh, in my opinion, you shouldn't need any um, programming skills, only your mother's tongue, because you're actually making marketing automation and not creating the program for marketing automation. So I think this is one of the most important things. And our goal, the goal of this initiative is, as I said, to create with the community together. So not creating our own soup, not cooking our own soup or creating our own stuff. Um, I would like to focus together with uh, the amazing people I met um, and, and kick this um, thing off, I would like to create the most perfect Nautic builder we want and we are dreaming of and make this happen together. And I think it's really easy to letting this happen and to manage that we get this. So let's own it together instead of like, um, I have the most uh, the most amazing builder, so all your clients should be my clients actually on my hosting, and um, the others can uh, the others like basically suck. Instead of doing this, I think it's better for the whole Maltic experience. So for each one who is coming into this world and who wants to participate in open source marketing automation with Maltic, should be able to use this very, very necessary tool and should be able to create landing pages and so on with it. So I think the potential is already there. I think Maltic is on the perfect path to do so. Um, and yeah, instead of creating 
um, in or instead of reinventing the wheel, so every company at the moment is like reinventing their own wheel to um, show their clients. No, 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 Mautic is great actually. So we built that. So please use it because it's amazing. So um, the underlying thing is that the Mautic um, user experience in building emails and building landing pages and especially building forms <laughs> and uh, pop-ups is, um, is lacking ease of use. So I think we can do this. And I think that our community has very much skills. So, so the skills combined are amazing, which I saw so far. And I'm part of this community for a little bit more than one and a half years now. And um, it's just growing and growing and it's, it's getting more active than ever. Um, I came in a little bit before Acquia bought uh, Mautic. And since then it got really, really interesting. So I created one of the, one project for a client for me. So meet Daniel, he's, he's really actually, this guy is Daniel <laughs> and he's a sales coach. And he um, um, decided to move to Mautic with his um, whole funnels, with his whole sales system. And it's a lot, it's really interesting. I learned a lot. So because it worked before <laughs> and he decided to get on board with us and partner up and um, we decided, okay, let's create a very awesome uh, user experience for the end user, which we can sell together to his clients afterwards. So he's basically selling our tutorial, so our templates and everything. And for that, um, we tried to build his landing pages and it was a huge struggle. It was very, very um, difficult to build really sophisticated pages in a way where he is able to get in afterwards, change a few lines of text or change an image or change the video size and so on and really use it for himself without us as an agency um, need to need to log in and, and of course charging some money for it. So, um, we um, discovered that he is really, really helpless and he felt really depressed about this move to change from a huge platform, which is famous for their funnels where you can click through and which is very expensive. And uh, so he came from this platform and he paid a lot, but it was working very well for him. Really easy, really easy to use. So you can just take the templates, build your own stuff and go for it. And um, actually we sold him exactly this. So we decided, okay, let's give the newly created Grapes.js builder bundle from Web Mechanic, which I think is very awesome. Um, I decided to um, set this up for him and um, we were able to create uh, this kind of user experience for him. So we created this with the Grapes.js Builder. We created his landing pages, his um, um, his pop-ups inside the landing pages. We had a little bit to tweak there, but we built it in the landing pages because you can um, use scripts inside there as well and so on. So he was he is able now to log into his uh, page, to, into his Mautic and change everything himself he wants. So that's amazing. So he came basically from helpless uh, marketing user with non-code experience to being a Mautic Pro. So in his environment, in his world, which is actually only Mautic, it's not what happens in the background. It's not like pulling PRs and um, getting Mautic to run again. That's what we are doing for him. That's the, I think that's important, um, an important other step, but he could uh, create his more than 25 landing pages now and over 70 emails distributed over four campaigns and so on. And he's really happy with this and it works really good. 
So how can we get there as a community? And I think that most people who run, uh, run an agency or most people who um, are freelancers and uh, set up Nautic for other people and so on, run basically in exactly this problem. And the problem is the lack of user experience for, and you have to compare it to nowadays um, standards and compared to these standards, it's a lack of user experience. It's not easy. So we need to make it easier and let's start the process together. So um, we um, decided to, um, to be there for the community, basically. So we are a few people. The last time I counted, we were five and we got Ruth involved, which did an amazing job so far. And it's only a few days now. So we already have a Slack channel and so on. So you can start contributing. And the most important thing here is um, really contribute, contribute every skill you have. So think outside the box. There is so much to do and it's not only coding. So I saw a lot of talks today actually around this topic as well, like where should I start contributing? So let's just start in a forum or in the Slack channel. That's, I think, the most important thing. And from there, we can start building it because at first we have to evaluate. And um, there is already a really nice base where we can work from. So let's just quickly go back to what, what happens when people don't like software. They just abandon it and nobody's um, um, excusing for this. So they just go. <laughs> and I think this happened in the Mautic community already. And we saw Mautic on a very like downward path, but um, Aquia did a great job, Ruth did a great job. And I think the community, we all together did a great job and moved towards um, like where we want to, to have this spaceship going. And so, yeah, let's build the easiest and best builder experience in the market. I think it's easily doable, especially because we have so many people. So that's the, that's the charm of open source for me. So let's start now, let's build this platform and this incredible product together and yeah, start contributing and be part of it. So we have milestones in place, um, which obviously are very, very rough, <laughs> but we have these milestones and we can start from there. It's a starting point. It gets, um, um, uh, how do you say, it gets, we get to build a structure and it gets um, sorted out what we need, how we can do it. So start, um, uh, taking part in here and start selling it, bring it to your customers and learn about the things they are struggling with. Um, if you maintain uh, the machines of some of your customers, you can just ask them if they are willing to use for a few days, probably um, a beta, a builder which is in beta state and you can help them using it. You can help them figure out how to use it, what to do and so on. and create insights, which is very important for us. So this brings us to the next point. How can we make it better? Um, so yeah, get involved in the forum or in the Slack channel or afterwards after this talk in the networking area. And yeah, let's start from there, I would say. And the milestones very roughly, it's 2020. It's the end of 2020, uh, actually. Um, I saw just today in the web mechanic um, plugin Grapes.js uh, builder uh, repo in GitHub today were two uh, PRs merged, which are the most important uh, uh, things actually. Um, so it's really, really far actually. So it's a very good point to start uh, create like a seamless user experience between Mautic and the plugin and um, all over the all over the whole platform. So not only 
email builder and landing page builder, I think it's at least the same important to create a really nice forms builder and a really nice plugin builder, a uh, pop-up builder. So to have everything in one molded at once, like every plugin or every bundle should look like the same and have the same feel and ease of use. So from there, we can only just uh, only say again, get involved, start today, um, give us your 50 cents or your uh, ideas um, in what to do, in how to do it, in what you want to have, because there are so many different opinions on how to use Mautic, who is the best customer for it, and so on. So check out the forum, um, come to our Slack channel. It's the iBuilders channel on Slack. And um, yeah, take take place in in the community and start it. That's it, basically. Ta -ta -ta. Okay. <laughs> this this time I make sure that I am mute myself. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you very much, Alex. Uh, it's nice Can I say to... also a couple of words just uh, quickly that I wanted to thank Alex because you guys don't know the background. This whole thing started with a couple of us complaining to each other about the email builder. And then really, like, we started our secret meetings <laughs> to discuss that, how to uh, proceed and met more and more people and realized that Alex is really far, like he's the most far from... From, from all of us in, in, in the road of getting the, some kind of a better solution. And he, he had a huge knowledge about this and he had like two days to do this whole presentation. So thank you again for jumping in and putting this together and especially for taking the lead. Um, since you were the most far anyway, you know, it was kind of obvious that you have to do it. Plus we pushed it on you. So good luck with that. <laughs> uh, Okay, I'm gonna be, give back the, the, the word to, to Kat and maybe we have some questions about contribution and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm looking at if there is any questions. Loading up the page. There is no questions at the moment. No questions, everyone. No questions. Um, Joey, maybe you can ask more question to Alex. I definitely have a couple of questions. Glad yes. you asked. So <laughs> I, I wanna I wanna ask. Can you list the places where you can start contributing? Uh, yes, of course. So um, I will just share the screen again, and um, I think we will we will share this uh, presentation anyway afterwards. So there are the links, and a um, little moment. I just share the screen, which is here in Firefox. So yeah, okay. So you can get involved so first of all obviously you can write an email to me so i think it's really easy to um to get it's alex at hartmut.io that's my business email so just text me that's fine or um get uh, involved in the forum there is the new email builder um where you can where you can start posting your stuff and we decided um, together with uh, Ruth, that this should be the place to start collecting uh, opinions and wishes and um, like development knowledge or ways to 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 think about before we decide in which direction we aim. And obviously, on the Slack channel, you can find so inside the Maltic um, Slack channel, you can find the channel iBuilders where you can just um, come in and start the discussion. So, yeah, that's the... Okay. Um, that's the 
also, if this is uh, so, there is one more uh, piece to this puzzle that uh, Eki was also helping out a lot with organizing this and uh, managing to. He uh, helped us to get a slot with sh such a short notice to be able to present this to you guys today. And uh, uh, he also mentioned that if we manage to pull this off and we can really have an initiative, a community initiative, which is a thing uh, available, like it, it exists by, by other uh, open source projects. So this is not an invention of ours. We can have a blueprint of doing other things like this. So it doesn't have to stop by the email builder. That's why it's really important for us that you guys are contributing. Um, you mentioned Alex a couple of ways already. Do you want to extend that? Like what other ways it's possible to contribute? You want to talk about yeah. that or you covered it? Okay. Yeah, shortly. So first of all, what you said before, like Ruth also mentioned that um, we, sh we could take this initiative and document it also on the Mautic Docs um, to show people how to kick off or how to kickstart a another initiative and how to walk through this process. Who are the people I have to talk to at the beginning? Um, what should I um, produce to get uh, the initiative running and to get people into this kind of project? So I think it would be uh, perfect to document this and show people more insights what's going on how we are how we're struggling how what we learned and how we um come over our like problems for example and how we find the perfect solution to create an awesome product so i think this is one of the things and the other thing is like i want to encourage everybody who has um, usually, and that's very common in open source. Um, that's very common in the WordPress space as well. Um, I want to encourage everybody who is very new to the community or very new to Mautic or very new to open source or whatever, just give your um, opinion, just give your 50 cents. Just It's never wrong to take part in uh, a communication. Uh, so head to the forum or head to um, the iBuilders channel inside the Mautic channel in Slack and give us your opinion, what you want to see or what you would wish to like how something should be structured or what you wish how it should look like. There are so many things um, which are necessary actually. And if you don't know any code at all, I think it's perfect for testing purposes. So if you don't know how to code, if you don't know how to get around something, a problem, then you're basically the best perfect, uh, the, the perfect testing person because you don't know how to solve something which you cannot do in the builder. So please participate and just start um, giving us feedback. Cool. I didn't see any questions, so I think we pretty much covered everything. Maybe it was too fast. <laughs> oh, you're okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, you, you did a great job in such a short notice. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think it's 25 minutes is the maximum. So it's longer. <laughs> it shouldn't be longer because yeah, nobody can listen so long. <laughs> I think I can add uh, maybe uh, uh, um, Eki put together a great podcast show. You know, mm -hmm. Joy, you were on that Eki show. Alex, I, I was... Alex was there as well. Alex, yeah, yeah. Alex, I, Alex, and you, yeah, both of you. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Yeah, so you guys were in that uh, episode. So it's nice to. Um, I yeah. I, I usually listen to Eki's podcast when I'm jogging in the morning. So Yeah, that's great. That's a good way to start. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and it's always great what he digs out of the universe and what happens actually. There are so many mm -hmm. great projects in Mautic. So that's yep. I think that's one of the things we want to achieve here as well too. Mm -hmm. There is much more going on in the Mautic space. 
as you would like as you see obviously and that's because of because that's lack of communication actually so i think the most important thing is to start um having a, a, a an asking and answering culture in the forums and in the Slack channel. There are so many abandoned questions when nobody takes care and nobody feels like I cannot answer it, so I will just not say anything. So if we could um, bring in this culture of, of, of letting nobody down and just say, hey, I'm interested in this as well, or would be really interesting to to get an answer then i think the community would 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 get stronger because of that so yeah that's that's my wish <laughs> for example very good very good point yeah good good okay uh we still have 30 minutes till next track but i guess uh we could uh Take a break. All right. So uh, thank you very much, Alex and Joey. So there's a uh, Bitly. When you go to the other, uh, there's a sponsor booth. There's a networking booth, and uh, social world that you should tweet mm -hmm. out. Multicon uh, hashtag is Multicon and also Maltic, and spread the word of the Maltic to the rest of the world. And we rock rock and roll the world then yeah all right so uh thank you thank you guys very much thank, thank you, you so well. thank thanks you so much. Much. see you guys okay see you. thanks bye bye